Hey pilots, it's Wes here from MotionRC.com and today we're going to be going over a new product, the EG01 Gyro that you can retrofit into any of your free wing or flight line models. It's a very simple gyro to program that'll work great in all of those models to help soak up those crosswind conditions or bumpier weather days. Now, in order to get started, there's a few things that we need to have. For one thing, an airplane, a transmitter, and your receiver are ready for the aircraft. You also need to pick up either the Blue Bridge Lite or the Pro version in order to be able to do this gyro. Now, today we're gonna be using the Lite version. Uh, it's as simple as just being able to plug that in and power off of the model's battery. Uh, if you do have the Pro version, it just allows you to be able to program the gyro without having the model turned on. But honestly, uh, you're going to want that aircraft on for this anyway. So anyway, guys, let's get down into the table and let's start programming this gyro. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our gyro has a nice place to go inside the aircraft where it's going to be away from the batteries or anything else that you might bump into it while you're trying to take it in and out of the aircraft. Uh, just try and locate this somewhere where it's not going to be in the way for you. The next thing is we need to focus on our orientation of the gyro. So it has to either go with the gyro facing the front or the back. It cannot be mounted sideways or upside down. So when you're picking this, you'll see that there's ports on one side and then there's a USB type C connector on the other. Once again, you either need that USB type C connector facing the tail of the aircraft or the nose of the aircraft, but it cannot be mounted in there sideways. So once you've decided where you're gonna put it, we need to install the two servo connector leads that came in the box for the gyro. Uh, there's one that has three connectors labeled aileron, elevator, and rudder. Those are gonna be plugged into the port that is labeled elevator, aileron, rudder, all the three. That is gonna be the one that's gonna go up to the receiver and plug into the channels you actually wanna use. The other one is your gyro mode selector switch. And you'll see there is a gyro mode selector port on the EG01. We're gonna plug one into that into there and then take that up to the receiver and plug that into an open channel. Now for my use, I'm using channel seven and I need to assign that to a three position switch you need it to be at negative 100, zero, and positive 100 for your three positions. Then those other three wires, like I said, one's gonna plug into the elevator, one's gonna plug into the rudder, one's gonna plug into the ailerons. Uh, so I've used one, two, and four for my ports here on Futaba. Once you've done that, we need to take the actual control wires that come from the flight controls so in this case, it's the ones coming out of the blue box labeled elevator, aileron, and rudder and plug those into the corresponding ports on the EG01. You'll see that they are in order from start to finish on that gyro. Once we've done all of that, we can now take our double-sided 3M sticky tape that comes in the box, apply that to the bottom of the gyro and go on and attach it inside the aircraft. Once you've done that, it's time to fire up the model and just verify a few things. We want to make sure our elevator correction is the right direction, our aileron correction is the right direction, and our rudder. This is as simple as just like any other pre-flight check, turning the model on, pulling the stick, making sure when you pull back, you get up elevator. When you roll to the right, you should see the right aileron go up. When you do your rudder, it should be in the direction of correction that you want. Once we verified all of our corrections are correct, it is time to now get into actually programming this gyro. So the first step once we're down in here is make sure the model is powered on and the gyro is receiving power. Now, if you've got your three position switch set up, you can simply flip through the three modes and you will see it will go from blue to green to off. Off is gyro off, green is stabilization, and blue is self-leveling. Once you know you have all three of those functions working, it's time to actually fire up the programming app. So we're gonna take our Blue Bridge Gyro Programming Card, 
plug that into the USB type C port on the front of your free wing gyro. You will see a flashing green light start to appear on the front of the blue bridge. Once that has been done, we can go into our cell phone using the free wing app, hit the connect button, ensuring that our Bluetooth is turned on on our cell phone. Give this about 20 seconds. It takes a little bit for it to establish its connection. Once it does, it's gonna pop up on there, free wing, telling us that we have something to program. We're gonna hit that connect button. And then down at the bottom, you'll see where it says gyro. We're gonna go on and click on that menu option. Now that we're into the free wing app, you can see at the top we have uh, conventional aircraft, we have Delta Wing aircraft and VTAIL. Those are the three types of setups we can do with this gyro. For our situation, we're gonna make sure we stay on conventional. Then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we see where it says gyro corrections. Now, in order to test this, I do recommend making sure you have it in self-leveling mode. This is gonna make it much easier to determine if our corrections are the right direction. We can simply pick the aircraft up to check the ailerons. We're gonna tilt it up on its side at a 45 degree angle. And whatever direction we turn the aircraft in, we should see the gyro trying to correct the airplane back to level. So if we were to bank the aircraft into a right hand turn, we should see it giving us left aileron deflection in order to bring it back to center. Same thing when we go to check our elevator. If we put the nose of the aircraft down into a dive, we want to see the elevator giving up correction in order to bring it back to level. Now, if one of these is wrong, it's as simple as clicking those buttons. Now, it is not gonna change it until we send the gyro uh, settings here in just a minute, but we can go on and verify all three control corrections. The last one is our rudder. Now, whenever you're doing a rudder, if you're holding the aircraft nose towards you and you turn the aircraft, what you're gonna see is that as you turn the aircraft, the rudder is going to correct into the turn. So if I were to be away from us right now, nose pointed at me, and I start to turn this direction, the rudder will deflect into the turn. If I go the other direction, the rudder will correct the other direction. Once we have all of our settings figured out to make sure they're going the right directions, we can scroll down to the bottom of the app and hit send. You'll hear the control surfaces do a little jiggle to know your settings have actually been put into the gyro. Then we need to go back and verify everything actually took and is correct. So pick the model up again and check for directions. Once we know that's all correct, we know we have our gyro set up for correction. Now, I highly recommend you have this on a two position or three position switch and can turn the gyro on and off for this next part. Now, it just comes with the gyro half on for all control surfaces right off the bat. It's a great place to start. Most aircraft are going to fly successfully on those settings, but this is where we're going to have to actually tune it by flying the aircraft. So for your first flight, you want to take off with the gyro off, get it up in the air quite a ways, get your hand on that switch, turn the gyro on. If it all feels good, continue flying and enjoy the model. If something's wrong, be prepared to flip that back off because if you have a gyro correcting in the wrong direction, the aircraft could flip over and dive towards the ground. Be ready to turn that gyro off the moment you turn it on if something goes haywire in the airplane. Um, they're kind of unforgiving if you get a gyro wrong. This is why we want to take our time on the setup to make sure we get it right from the beginning. But that's also why we always want to have a way to turn that gyro off once we're in flight. And for that first flight, like I said, take off with the gyro off, get the airplane way up in the air, and turn it on your first time to verify everything. Now, 
Once you have successfully turned the gyro on, you know it's working, you feel like, man, I wish that it was more stable in the ailerons. It's still got a little wiggle whenever I'm coming in the land, whatever. That's when you can go into the gyro app and just turn that gain up a little bit more and then hit that send button again and it'll go into it. It's, it's super convenient and easy to do this at the flying field is the nice thing about this app. Uh, and that's how you're gonna tune these gyros. So a lot of customers are gonna be happy with them right out of the box just on 50%. But if you're flying a faster airplane like this 8S F-22, when you get to full throttle and you turn that gyro on, it may start to oscillate. If you ever experience oscillation while you're tuning your gyro, just pull the power back. As soon as the plane slows down, it'll come out of that oscillation. So that's your key here. If you ever experience it, just power back a little bit, slow down, and then it'll just come right back into it. And then don't forget, you also have your switch, if you've programmed it the way I said, where you can turn it off. Now, another cool thing down in the programming app is if you see at the bottom, you have an option to save a setting into the aircraft or into the app. Now, for me, you know, if, if a customer was out at the field with me, and was like, oh, I really like how your F-22 is flying. I want those settings off your gyro. I can simply plug in and if I've saved it, I can give them my settings right out of my gyro uh, into their aircraft. Or say you have a favorite airplane uh, and you've accidentally crashed it and you need to replace it. We don't have to reprogram the whole gyro anymore if you've saved those settings. You just put the new gyro in and download your old previous settings right into the gyro. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video on uh, setting up the new EG-01 here in the F-22. Uh, I highly recommend you try one of these gyros out. They are super easy to put into any model uh, and get set up and go flying quickly. Uh, as always, whether it's air, land, or sea, you can get it right here at Motion RC. And until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.